finally guys it's finally here and the it guys is of course the brand new Vilchok speed booster which will basically allow you to mount ef lenses onto an em body and it will basically give you a full frame equivalent in terms of your focal length now there's tons of misconceptions and a lot of questions out there regarding what a speed booster is especially this particular speed booster it seems to be really controversial especially on some subreddits on facebook groups etc so hopefully what i want to do with this video is alleviate some of those concerns you guys might have regarding the speed booster explain what a speed booster is is what it's not and what you can expect out of this bad boy coming up right after this All right guys, welcome back. So basically, like I said before, there's tons of misconceptions and rumors out there regarding this speed booster. For some reason, a lot of people have questions about it. So hopefully I can clear up some of those concerns today for you guys, as well as unboxing it, showing you guys what it looks like, what you can expect out of it, all of that good stuff. So first and most important question, what the hell is a speed booster? So basically a speed booster is gonna focus the light that hits your camera sensor in a way such that you will get like a full frame equivalent basically on a crop sensor. There's a lot of complicated maths that goes into it. I don't quite understand it most people that you watch on YouTube really don't quite understand it and if they say they understand it they're probably lying to you so basically like I said before it focuses the light in a way that it hits the sensor using like an extra mirror like they've added a mirror as opposed to the adapter which I'll be comparing and showing you guys the differences and it basically allows you to get that full frame focal length full frame with some caveats like there needs to be an asterisk next to that and I'm gonna explain why there should be an asterisk next to that right now so a lot of people like to simplify and say that a speed booster basically makes a crop sensor a full frame camera that's wrong on various levels one obviously nothing can make it a full frame camera except buying a full frame camera and getting a full frame sensor no matter what a crop sensor is still not going to have the best low light performance it's still going to be missing some of the quality and resolution and performance that you can expect in your higher full frame cameras but in terms of focal lengths and your field of view and things like that you can get pretty darn close now normally on an APS-C sensor you're working with like a 1.6 times crop and a focal reducer like this one would cut that pretty much in half actually a little bit over half to 0.7 which means that you're only having a 0.7 times crop as opposed to that 1.6 and even the 2.6 on top of that in 4k on the m50 so what does that mean for you what can you expect out of this that means that basically let's say you have a 16 to 35 lens like I'm about to pick up because that L series glass is so beautiful and normally on this crop sensor that would be 1.6 times 16 which is a little under 30 so it's about 28 millimeters to about 65 millimeters in terms of your focal length on that lens with this you would only multiply that by 0 0.7 so it would only be maybe like 20 to whatever the other end is I'm really bad at math so I'm not even gonna try that which is actually a pretty big deal because like I said before the M50 obviously has a really really bad crop factor especially in 4k so this could help alleviate some of that and I'm really looking forward to trying it out now like I said before there's a lot of misconceptions about speed boosters people are concerned about it I've seen lots of questions on Facebook groups on the subreddit etc asking about the speed booster so I'm just gonna go through a few of those top concerns that I've seen answer those for you guys and then we're gonna get into the unboxing autofocus this seems to be the number one concern people ask me and that I've seen asked does the autofocus work properly with EF lenses if you have the Viltrox adapter on or in this case the speed booster I've not tried out the speed booster yet so I I can't 100% say yes it'll work I've never seen a complaint about it it's got all good reviews everything that I've seen so far looks good I also have the original Viltrox EF to EM adapter and that bad boy works perfectly so I don't see any reason to be concerned about that or any reason to worry secondly image quality will image quality be as good if I'm using a Viltrox speed booster or a Viltrox adapter simple answer yes nothing's gonna change with your lens quality uh, all this thing does is focus light to your lens to your sensor a bit different than normally and lastly before the unboxing will this void my Canon warranty or any other warranties I have this is actually a pretty weird question but some people are actually concerned about it so I'll just give you a simple no you don't have to worry about this voiding any warranties or anything like that if anything happens to your lens or to your camera Canon of course will still cover that the only reason I could see them not covering something is if you explicitly said hey I used a third-party lens or I used a third-party adapter and it messed my lens up as long as you don't say something like that though you're fine so I've done enough talking and I'm ready to open this bad boy so let's head over all right guys so just showing you the box here standard box Viltrox box nothing too special pretty similar to the EF adapter if you've seen that before 
and uh, on the back you've got some Asian writing, some Chinese I believe, and uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Pretty neat case, nothing too special. Alright guys, so sorry for subjecting you probably to the ghettoest b-roll sequence you'll ever see. Being shot in my bathroom on the bathroom countertop, but wasn't expecting to make this video today because I wasn't expecting this bad boy to get here as soon as it did, so I'm not in the studio. But you know, when life gives you lemons, you just gotta make lemonade. So anyway, that pretty much was the exterior of the adapter, very similar to the actual EF-EM adapter, which I also have, and I'll show you guys. So this is actually my adapter right here, which I keep attached to my Nifty 50 since it's my only EF or EFS lens and i actually really like the way it looks with the lens hood it looks really professional it makes me feel better about myself uh since the m50 is so small uh but as you can see here just compare the two of them stand up all right so as you guys can see here these are the two of them side by side so they're pretty similar in terms of thickness this is the focal reducer that i just picked up the speed booster and this is the adapter so they're both really good build quality metal mounts here um Actually, ironically, the adapter, which is like $40, looks a lot better than the M50 kit lens, which is pretty funny. And this is pretty much what I was talking about before, how you have that that uh, like mirror, or it's not a mirror, it's, it's glass, but I'm just calling it a mirror. I'm not sure the particular name, but there's like an element here which allows you to focus that light onto the sensor to make it seem like a full frame. I just love when you have that new glass. I'm gonna cover it up because I don't want it to get dirty. But then when we open up the back here, the back looks like a plastic mount, uh, really nice plastic though, it's not super cheap. And then of course you have the uh, prongs back there, and what, or the flanges rather, to go onto your camera. All right guys, so now that you know what the speed booster looks like compared to the adapter, what the adapter looks like, all that good stuff, here comes the fun part. I'm gonna actually go out and do what matters, take some stills, take some videos, then I'm gonna come back and show you guys what they look like, what the samples look like, all that good stuff, and hopefully we'll be in a much more illuminated place by then, like my studio downstairs with much better lighting. So yeah, here comes the fun part, let's go. All right guys, so I promised you we will be back with light and samples, and we got both. I do wanna make a quick adjustment to what I said earlier about the focal length with the speed booster. It's actually your focal length times the APS-C crop, which is 1.6, and then times that 0.71, which is what the speed booster is, and that divides it, and you basically will get a number then. So for example, with the Canon 16 to 35, it would actually be 18 millimeters at the wide end, which is really, really wide, and it's wider than anything that I can think of that comes native to like the M50 or anything like that. So just keep that in mind. Sorry about that mistake. All right, so like I said, I was out shooting. It was pretty cold out there, so I wasn't out there too long in Michigan. It's like 20 degrees 
degrees right now so I didn't do too much video because obviously the nifty 50 isn't really for video it's a portrait lens and with the regular Canon EFM adapter it's pretty much a telephoto prime but I did get a bit of video so you can see that up on the screen right now you can just see the difference in terms of the focal length as you'll see with the speed booster you get a pretty fair bit of the surroundings in that shot with the nifty 50 with the regular Viltrox adapter you don't really get quite as much you pretty much only get that path like that I'm walking up once again sorry it's really shaky there's no is on the nifty 50 so i just did all of this in post i also took some stills which i'll put up on the screen right now you guys can see the difference in terms of the surroundings there with the speed booster i noticed i was getting a lot more of the surroundings and it actually really made the nifty 50 a pretty decent walk around lens now this isn't going to turn something like the nifty 50 into a walk around everyday lens but it does make it more usable and more practical and even more bang for your buck especially if you're an entry level camera user you're on the m mount it'll make it really really cool to use also something that i really wish i would have mentioned earlier it's really important when it comes to the speed booster your lenses actually become two stops faster in most cases using this adapter so for example when i was shooting with the nifty 50 earlier normally that's a 51a but with the speed booster because of the way it focuses your light to your sensor and all that scientific stuff you actually gain two stops so it actually became a one two or actually that's that would be three stops in that case so it became a one two as opposed to a one eight which i think is really really cool and it's not just a one two in terms of name you actually get one two bokeh which is awesome for this price because the nifty 50 is of course only like 130 dollars so you're getting a 50 one two for that that is a steal so for example i was really hesitant about picking up the 16 to 35 because it's only f4 but with this adapter it'll actually be about 35 which is really really cool it's pretty much the same as my kit lens but now you've got better quality glass and i've also got l series lens so i'm really excited to try that one out can't wait to show you guys other than that the price of course for the Viltrox speed booster is about 152 us dollars i got mine off of amazon they also have it on ebay you might be able to find it a bit cheaper i personally recommend amazon i'll go ahead and put a link down in the description if you're curious about picking one of these things up i really really highly encourage you guys to get it especially if you have an m series camera i really really highly encourage you guys to go pick up the speed booster it's only 152 bucks i know you guys might be on a budget but with christmas coming up go ahead and write that down for santa man let them pick that up also if you guys haven't done so already go ahead and hit that red subscribe button click that thumbs up button so this video ranks and can help out more people in terms of learning about the speed booster and discovering my channel we also just broke 1,000 subscribers a couple days ago guys so i'm really really grateful and appreciative it still feels like a dream i can't really believe we're here but we are so here's to the next million additionally just a channel update i think what i'm gonna be doing going forward is at the end of the week i'll be doing like technology based videos so video stuff pictures vlogging uh camera based stuff and then at the beginning of the week i'll be going back to us uk cultural stuff as well as travel themed content so that way you guys know when i'm posting and what's coming i also am about to get access to the community tab so i'll be able to keep you guys updated there and you can also find me on all my socials linked down below now as i said in my last video i'm gonna be heading off to thailand next week for a week i'm gonna be heading to la first gonna be doing some shooting out there hanging out visiting the family and i'm really really excited to take you guys along with me obviously i'm not gonna be putting up any videos from thailand i'll have to edit everything and do it when i get back but i'm really excited to take you guys and to show everything off so once again thank you guys for watching go ahead and click that subscribe button so you're a part of the journey and get all of my videos when i upload and i'll see you on the next one